Welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and as you can see we are in the middle of the woods. What are we going to do here in the middle of the woods? We're going to build a pig paddock and more specifically a piglet paddock for training the piglets how to respect the hot wire. It's going to be a 16 by 16 in size paddock so there's going to be ample opportunity for these 10 piglets to come in contact with the electric wire. They're going to learn how to respect it and how to stay away from it. Also, this is how we're going to be weaning the piglets away from their mother. Uh, so they've been on their mother for a month now. It's time to get them off. So follow along as we get this done. So as you can see here, I got a, a panel. This is a hog panel. The way they are designed is they have smaller openings down at the bottom and bigger openings at the top. It saves on money on manufacturing. So uh, these, these you can pick up at any farm supply store. You'll need, if you're building a single paddock, you're gonna need four of these. So when building a, <laughs> So when building a pig paddock, uh, you're gonna need a few things. One is the hog panel, which I already showed you. But two is T-post. The T-post uh, gets its name from the design on the end of it. It's like a T. So it has these notches right here. And this is actually made for fencing. And you, you, know, you run the fence right here and then you have um, or a, a, you know, a barbed wire string or even the fence, even the hog panel will notch up against these notches and that's how you can index it on how high you want it and stuff like that. So the first thing we do is we make the selection of where we're going to build our pig paddock and we're going to be building it right behind our other pig paddocks. So we got this area uh, pretty much cleaned up. Now the pigs are going to do a major cleanup on this uh, but again this is just a training paddock and we got other things in store for them as well so uh, first we're going to establish our corner post This looks like a good spot for our corner post. What do you think? Now, the hog panels are 16 by 16 in size. So that means it's gonna go out 16 feet from here. So the way I'm positioning it is so that it's not gonna be uh, in the way of any trees. So let's grab our tool that we need to use to put this in. It's a T-post driver. This is a push driver. It has handles on it. It's beefy, it has some weight to it. It weighs huh, anywhere in between 15 to 20 pounds. You set it over the T-post, like so, and then you drive it into the ground. Now, depending on how, depending on how uh, uh, permanent you want this, you may have to drive it further. So now that we got that corner post established, now all we need to do is we need to take our hog panel over to there so we know where to set the other T-post. When you bring your hog panel in, 
don't bring the hog panel to the edge of the T-post. Uh, the reason why is because uh, it will take in a, uh, be harder to attach, actually. You're about to see, we're gonna use these T-post clips to attach this. So I always overlap it by one, by one section. Now that we established where this panel is gonna sit at, now we can drive the other T-post. Okay, so now you're gonna take your other T-post and we're gonna go down to the other end and drive it at the end of that corner. Okay, we're at the we're at the other end of the hog panel. It's 16 feet long, and uh, we're going to drive this T post right next to this hog panel. Now we need to attach the hog panel to the T-post. This, this is a T-post clip. So it wraps around the back side of the T-post and then goes over the top of the hog panel. And then you twist that back. Now that's attached. And you do this at each T post. And preferably you do it at more than one spot on the panel. There we go. This tool that I'm using is a clip tool. Uh, I found it on Amazon. It's been left outside a couple of times, so it's kind of rusted. Now that we established one side of the paddock, it's now time to create the other side. So we're bringing in another hog panel and three T-posts. Each hog panel requires a minimum of three T-posts. You could do it with two, but it would be really easy for the pig to push it out if it gets up against it. So another thing to know about when establishing your your paddock is to always put your t-post on the outside of the paddock the t-posts are on the outside because you want your fence on the inside and you want them to if there are any pressure is put on it it gets put against the t-post when i mean by pressure i mean pig pressure back again to our t-post clips bring it bring the camera in Let's get a let's get a tight of this. Get in tight. Can't see. Are we in tight? Okay. 
again with the t with the t-post clip you're going to take it around the back side of the t-post and it wraps around it and then that comes and then that comes down then you use your tool you can use a flathead screwdriver for this you don't have to have the special tool it just makes the special tool makes it easy to work with and there you go So now we are establishing the third side of our paddock. The paddock consists of four sides, of course. Now, you don't always have to have four panels to make a paddock. If you already have a paddock, you can use one of the sides of that paddock as one of the sides for your new paddock. All right, so now that we've established all sides of the paddock, we need to look at behavioral training, and that is with the use of an electric fence. The electric fence it will supply a shock. Now, it, it, it's like a, it's more scary. It does have a bit of pain with it, but it's more scare than pain. Uh, but you use these isolators on T post to hold the wire off from the T-post. So if you look right here on this T-post here, this is where it would go. It would go like that against the T-post. Now, you may have seen these, you know, in your, you know, somewhere else, but they put them up high. However, with the pig, you have to put it down at their nose level. They're really low to the ground. So this is gonna go about six inches from the ground. And the way these go on though is you start it, it has this opening right here. You start it on the T-post like so, and that bends over, and then that goes on like that. That is installed. Take it off, you just go in reverse. There you go. And so now, one of these has to be put on each post. So remember, you got three T-posts per panel, so that means we got nine, we need to install nine of these. So let's get started. All right, so now that we've installed all the isolators, it's now time to actually run the electric wire. Electric wire, you can get it in as little as like 100 foot rolls. I got a quarter of a mile right here and I haven't used all of it. Uh, Actually, I probably have two of these rolls. Anytime I go to do a project, I buy another roll, pretty much. So, all you gotta do is unwind this, and then take it through all the insulators. So, on the choice of where we place the paddock, we placed it in the woods, and the reason why is because Pigs are woodland animals. They love being in the woods. They love having the canopy over them. And the reason why is because, one, they don't sweat. Not like me. I sweat. They, pigs don't sweat. So they have no means of uh, controlling their body temperature except for shade and mud or water. So that's why pigs love water and mud and that's why they love the woodland area okay now that we have ran the electric wire around the entire paddock it is now time for us to attach this electrical wire to the existing fence charger that we have we don't have a solar fence charger plus a solar fence charger wouldn't work very good in the woods now would it so what we do is we have a, a, a powered one and it's at the uh, it's at the corner of paddock one uh, where we enter in the alleyway and what we do is we just have a, a power ran out to it uh, so it runs off 110 volts you will need a fence charger you don't uh, the expensive ones are the battery powered solar powered ones you can get uh, one that uses 110 volts for as little as 50 bucks uh, that will work perfectly well, mommy's about to be super happy here in just a little bit. Well, I say that.
Okay, now that we have established the, the fence is all established. Now, what we need to do is we need to work on environmentals that they need. What does a pig need? Well, they need food and water. So let's work on their water supply now. You can go ahead and pause it. Okay, now we come to the shop. And here, we're gonna take in a work on this. This is a little brute uh, trash can. And it also doubles as a pig waterer. So with this, we're gonna drill two holes on either side of this. Now, I'm gonna drill a hole opposite uh, on the 90 degree from where the handle is located at. So I'm gonna put a hole right here. And then I'm gonna put a hole on the other side. And the reason why is these handles are gonna come into play here in the paddock. So to drill the hole for this, we use a hole saw kit. This is a hole saw kit. So you gotta determine the size of your hole. And the way to determine that is by what it's gonna go through the side here. So you can do the right thing and that's look up the uh, uh, size of it or you could just guess this may be too big this one is just right this is the one we're going to use so this whole saw kit is kind of fancy as you can see it has like a quick adapter that goes on it bam and then this just goes onto the drill So, without any other further ado, we're going to put the hole right here. And just like so. Right there's the hole. I don't know if you can see that. But right there's the hole. We're going to drill another one right here on this side. like that all done so now easy peasy lemon squeezy there so now we use our bulkhead connector. Now, see this bulkhead connector actually came with a seal, a little gasket, that little blue thing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna thread this through. And yes, it's gonna be a little tight. And here's the nut that goes on the other end. And we'll just start it. And it just screws on. And then we grab two channel locks. And it just screws on. This may be a, bit, a little bit of overkill.
right. This here is a fence tester. You use this to stick in the ground, and this becomes a, the, the ground electrode. And this is what reads the voltage. All right, so here, let go. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but we're getting up to 7,000 volts of shock. So we know definitively that the, the electric fence is working. The shock fence is working. Now, now that we got water and food, I think we are ready to um, bring over piglets. Got him. You should take a picture. I might, I, I asked you to take pictures. Come on, take pictures. Hey, come on, hurry. Thank you. It's a boy. Are they there? This right here is one of our gilts. She could be yours, can't you? So this is the Tam Tamworth hog. They're an Irish breed. They get big too. Uh, I don't know if you all you all have seen Miss Piggy's size, but yeah, this is this is a big leap. They're so cute when they're small. Well. We let the weaning begin. So they're gonna be in this paddock for approximately two weeks, and then they'll be ready to uh, go to home. So all the, all the gilts are available. Uh, go to our website, theochomestead.com, and click on Farm Store, and you can uh, set it, place your deposit for one of our gilts. Um, the uh, barrows, will actually be going to uh, the butcher here in about eight months and staggering him. So, uh, well, that's all I have for you today. Please like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching.